<laughs> All right. Well, you know what, Elizabeth? Thank you very much for that report. We've got you at iSpy here. Uh, doing a live shot here uh, in front of our station. So thank you for going out there and braving the elements. I know it is cold. Go inside, try to warm up a little bit. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Meanwhile, here we go with our impressive storm that's providing a lot of snow here now in central North Dakota, starting to back off a little bit. The worst might now be behind us, but it doesn't mean we're not going to have after effects the remainder of the night over central North Dakota. It's a powerful storm here in northern Minnesota, but it was the back side of this, a rather sizable disturbance in the atmosphere. We knew this was going to happen for the past couple days coming out of southern Canada, wrapping behind this system into central and especially eastern North Dakota. Timing is everything because now we're into nightfall. Temperatures are dropping off and that means a higher probability for blowing snow with winds greater than 40 miles per hour in central North Dakota. Farther west, everything is just fine here up and down 85, but it's 83 that it's a real problem. And now a new update. No travel advice for the entire length of Bismarck to Minot on US 83. So uh, again, travel is just simply not advised here and will likely expand in aerial coverage over all of central and eastern North Dakota into the night. Not a good idea to be out and about unless you absolutely have to be. Our temperatures now dropping to or below freezing Garrison 29, but 32 in Bismarck Mandan, 32 in Minot. We're not pulling in Arctic air, but we are going to be in the 20s just about everywhere here the next couple of hours. And with that well below normal or below freezing temperatures, it's going to result in a lot more blowing snow, but snow blowing back onto roads and might instantly freeze here because of our gusty winds in excess of 40 miles per hour. Sustained 30, but gusting 40, 45. I don't think the wind will be a lot stronger than this. We have a potential for maybe 45 mile per hour brief gusts, but do keep in mind here, the wind is not going to subside entirely until tomorrow night. So all night tonight and most of Saturday, we're going to have wind between about 40 and 45 miles per hour. As seen there in the Bismarck Mandan area and in Minot, we could could briefly touch on that 50 mile per hour mark as some colder air comes in from southern Canada. The leading edge of that colder air uh, giving a bit more of a boost in the wind gusts. Meanwhile, more snow here. The additional snow forecast. No more for Minot. Nothing western North Dakota, but another maybe half inch for the Bismarck Mandan area. But by and large, a majority of the additional accumulating snow areas that don't have a lot right now. That would be over uh, areas between Devils Lake, Jamestown, Fargo and Grand Forks toward the Red River Valley where at least four to upwards of six inches of snow will be a possibility. So a brand new update here again, uh, Bismarck probably another half to one inch. I'm not thinking two now, but it is still snowing. No more additional snow for Minot, Williston, nor Dickinson, Jamestown two to four, Bowman, no more additional snow and a couple of inches over South Central North Dakota. But again, a lot more toward Grand Forks upwards of six inches. We can see that here eight o'clock tonight. Snapshot. Look at the area blue that snow. Notice the wind gust 50 miles per hour that continues to sweep on through. It's the eastern half of North Dakota into the night that is going to be uh, result in treacherous travel, most likely here, all the while conditions improving back farther toward the west. It does get better for tomorrow, but still it's going to be windy, but we won't have any precipitation Saturday morning. Tomorrow morning at seven o'clock, we're going to be in the low twenties here, but notice the wind still around 30 miles per hour, but into the late morning time frame, early afternoon, we're back to wind around 40, uh, possibly 45 miles per hour over central and eastern North Dakota, breezy everywhere, but most of us are only going to have uh, temperatures in the upper twenties to the low thirties. 30s. So a lot going on. It's a in and out kind of system and the longer term trend looks really good here. In fact, leading up to Christmas, uh, back to above normal temperatures. Well, we got some snow on the ground now. It'll take some time to work through this here and actually have some milder weather, but it is on the way looking at the longer term pattern, but uh, even a chance for sub freezing highs into early next week, but back into the 40s, 30s and 40s by the middle to the end of next week. And a little touch of good news here. Uh, starting Tuesday of next week, we begin to add daylight to the evening portion of oh, the day. Yes. We, we still lose in the morning, but we add a minute or so every day starting right. next Tuesday. Yeah, that'll Looking feel up. good. Looking up. Very good.